The word teacher today is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, we are going to revise structured equations in the transport and the plants. Our website is digitalteacher.co.ug. Here you find notes, exams and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology and math. Our YouTube channel is Digital Teachers Uganda. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the Local of Ages Primary School. Number one, describe the forces that enable water move up xylem vessels in a continuous column. You can pause and answer. A. Root pressure. Continuous absorption of water into the xylem by roots creates hydrostatic pressure that pushes water up the xylem. B. Transpiration pool. Loss of water from the stomata creates a suction force that pulls the water up the xylem vessel. C. Capillarity. Cohesion adhesive forces cause the movement of water up the xylem. Number two, explain how light influence opening of stomata in the plant that has been previously in the dark. You can pause and answer. Garden cells contain chloroplasts. This photosynthesize in the presence of light. The sugar produced increase osmotic pressure and osmotic uptake of water leading to opening of the stomata. Two, in light, carbon dioxide is used during photosynthesis. Rise in the pH causes conversion of starch to sugar. Increase in osmotic pressure in the guard cell causes osmotic uptake of water leading to opening of the stomata. In the A1, what is active transport? Two, how is occurrence of active transport in a cell related to the structure of plasma membrane? Three, what evidence is there to account for the fact that active transport requires energy? B. Summarize the events that occur in, in the plant cell when it achieves full tag. You can pause and answer. One, active transport is energy requiring process that moves substances across plasma membrane against concentration gradient. Two, plasma membranes contain carrier proteins that transport substances against concentration gradient using energy in the form of ATP. Feel it? Evidences that show that active transport requires energy are one, metabolic poisons stop active transport. Two, increase in temperature increases the rate of active transport. Three, increase in oxygen concentration increases the rate of active transport. Three, cells where active transport occur have high concentration of mitochondria. Part B, at full tagger, water pressure is equal to osmotic pressure. Water potential is equal to zero. For A, explain how light may affect activities of organisms. You can pause and answer. Enable organisms to see. Use the photosynthesis 
too much sunlight causes sunburn. It is used in synthesis of vitamin D in the skin, opening of flowers, for example, morning glory, photoperiodism, growth of shoot towards light, phototaxis, movement of organisms to or away from light, causes opening of the stomata, causes pig pigmentation, Photoperiodism regulates flowering. Light raises temperature, leading to increase in metabolic activities. B. Why do transpiration occur mainly through leaves than other parts of the plants? You can pause and answer. Leaves over a large surface area. Two. Leaves contain numerous. Stomata. Three, leaves are well spread. Four, leaves have thin cuticle. Number five A, describe the structure of guard cells in a plant. B, explain how stomata opening occur according to one, starch glucose interconversion. Two, for the synthetic theory, you can pause and answer. A. The guard cells are kidney shaped, lying side by side in epidermis of the leaf. The space between them is the stoma. The inner wall of the guard cell is thicker than the outer walls. The cytoplasm contain chloroplast and a virtue. B part 1 raising the pH causes the conversion of starch to sugars. This increases osmotic potential of guard cells leading to osmotic uptake of water. When the guard cells expand the inelastic inner walls part leaving a stomato pores. Lowering pH causes conversion of sugar to starch. Reduction in osmotic pressure causes stomato closure. B part 2 for photosynthetic fuel. In the presence of light, photosynthesis occur in the guard cells. Accumulation of sugars increase Osmotic potential of guard cells and osmotic uptake of water. And even expansion of guard cell wall leads to opening of the stomata. Number 6A How is the structure of the forelimb suited for its function? You can pause and answer. Adaptation is of volume. Lack a nucleus to provide room for transport. Plasmodesmata matter of end wall enlarged to form powers to reduce resistance to flow. Contain cytoplasmic filaments to facilitate transport by streaming. Companion cells provide energy for transport. 6B. Describe mass flow of materials through the forelimb. You can pause and answer. Sugars made by photosynthesis are converted to sucrose and loaded into forelimb in the leaves by active transport. This causes osmotic uptake of water into the forelimb. Increase in the adostatic pressure causes fluid flow towards the roots. Removal of sugars in the roots maintains diffusion gradient, maintaining continuous movement. Number seven, the distribution of the stomata and other leaf modifications in the plant are indicative of plant habitat. Discuss.
you can pause and answer. Hydrophytes live in fresh water, have the following modifications to get rid of excess water. Have stomata on upper epidermis, have finny chutic. Xerophytes live in dry areas and have the following adaptation is to reduce water loss. Have more stomata on the lower than upper epidermis. Have hairy leaves. Have sunken stomata. Have, have leaves reduced spines. Finny chutico. Waxed chutico. Mesophytes live in areas of adequate water and they have intermediate adaptations of hydrophytes and xerophytes. Halophytes live in saline water and experience physiological drought. Have the same adaptations as xerophytes. More stomata on the lower than epidermis. Have hairy leaves. Have sunken stomata. Leaves reduced to spines. Have thick chutico, thick leaves to store water. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here find notes, exams, and their marking guides in a physics, chemistry, biology, and math. All visit our YouTube channel for related videos. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the local of ages primary school.